So, is Frank happy I gave him control of the tower? I didn't have a chance to talk to him yet. I hope it was worth it. Because you lost your chance to find Mia? <sighs> yeah. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. Now, let's just get my sneakers back. Back? Were they stolen? The Juan? If you knew where your things were, why haven't you gone back to get them before now? See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? Hey, look, you got me suspicious, Luan. What's going on? Just go get him, would you? You climbed the fucking TV station tower. You can climb into an apartment. It depends on what's in there. I'm fine, chicken. What are you waiting for, Gajo? Want me to kick your ass up there? <laughs> Inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? <sighs> A guy's boots? place. Sorry, I don't see a red box anywhere. You dope, you're not looking hard enough. There's another room, behind the plywood.
Luan, <laughs> you look almost, almost happy. Pretty cozy nest. You shared it with someone. Do you still live here, or...? Nobody lives there. Just find the fucking shoes and stop asking dumb questions. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Cause that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is. in these bottles. Looks like they uh, spend a lot of time here. Hey, Luan, I found your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. I, I didn't... Luan, wait. What? Hack on. Oh, you bastard. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Oh, shit, Luan! Are you there? Come on. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. It figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off.
your sneakers. You should also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? <sighs> There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. The one, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to, but don't interrupt me. I'm busy. Getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear and seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Uh, well, I... We tend to... Just forget it. Wow. The shy type. Looks like your constellation is... Sickness. See whatness? <laughs> there. Look. The swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. So, did you meet Hakon when you were building the fisheye with Frank? He and Frank used to hang out with each other a lot. They were friends. It's a simple story, really. I was a young girl looking for attention. He didn't mind having his fun. The good thing is, lesson learned. For life. You still care, don't you? Otherwise, why make me go into the apartment? Yeah, I care, Aiden about the person I am now. That's why I didn't want to go back there. So the weak little girl that lived there doesn't get the better of me anymore. I used to hate her. Now, I'm so over her. Hey. 
in that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean things. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. Just words, huh? Yeah. Just words. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. That's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big. But when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. You can't turn back the clock. True. But I can stop his fucking clock. And I fucking will. Now, yeah. good night, Eden. You there? Right, folks. Let's start this new chapter with some inspirational music for you. Aiden, you there? Come to the canteen. No offense, Frank, but I really don't have any more time for you. That was gonna help me find my sister, but I gave the tower to you instead, and now I'm... I'm fucked. Calm down. Come to the fisheye and we'll talk. I might have an idea. I want to help you, Aiden. Oh, fine. Be there soon. Buy zucchini seedlings. Should the price not so high? Luan, it's Aiden. Come in. Luan? Come on, Luan, answer me. You there? Ah, great. I fixed the transmitter and now you go radio silent.
Radio Free Villador. Your neighbor, your city, once more and forevermore. Signing off. Talk to me, Frank. Look, we started off on the wrong foot. I'd like to correct that mistake. Have a drink. Yeah? For me. Frank, I really don't have time for this. I have to find another way to find my... Just listen. How did you... The TV station used to be controlled by the military. They did more than just broadcast from there. Thanks to you, we can now listen in on the enemy. It appears that Waltz is looking for the same database you're after. But the observatory is completely soaked with chemicals. <laughs> I have no idea how this GRE crap works, but Waltz sure seems to know. Maybe the observatory is not the only place to access the database. Is this conversation all you have? Uh, for now. But if we got close to their position and hacked into their frequency, we could collect more intel on Watts' plans. How? The transmission you heard was intercepted near an old military antenna in the wharf, just south of Marsh End Lane. If we activate that antenna, it'll boost the signal and we'll be able to hear everything they say. Every syllable and you'd know exactly what Waltz is up to. It'd be quicker if I could just find him. You're impatient, I understand. 
I know what it feels like to have wasted too much time, but you have to tread carefully. Remember, you said Waltz turned the power back on, then the renegades invaded the central loop. There's something going on, so best to collect as much intel as we can before you confront him. So, you think Waltz ordered the renegades into the central loop? Well, until now, the Colonel kept him on a short leash in his stronghold. But the savages we've been seeing lately... What the fuck? Something must have changed. One of the PKs told me that Waltz is after something called, uh... X-13. Doesn't ring any bells. Tell me more about these antennas. The military installed them on the tallest buildings to blanket the entire city. They're extremely hard to access, but all we need is the one nearest to where those renegades were based. When the signal's stronger, we'll be able to hear everything they say. Now the good thing is, it's the closest antenna to the canteen. You shouldn't have trouble finding it. Right, anything else before I get going? Oh, one more thing. Look at that poster, Aiden. Night runners used to abide by that creed, live by it. I used to think we were as torn apart as that piece of paper. But the creed still means something. And if you increase the range, I can contact the remnants of the old night runners. Some must still be alive. I see it now. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? Not just to me. To everyone here. But there's one piece missing. Do you know why I haven't thrown this poster away in all this time? Because of Luan. When I saw her for the first time, she was maybe, what, eight, nine years old. She was barely alive. She looked like she hadn't eaten in a year. And she was trying to help some kids get a crystal back from a thief. The guy was threatening them with a knife. He was twice their size, stronger, and she jumped on him, bit his hands so deep that his screams were heard as far away as old Villador. After that, she gave the crystal to one of the boys and left. She didn't get anything out of it. She didn't have to risk it. I looked at her and thought, this is all we have left. As humans, we can fight one another. Everybody just for themselves. Or, no matter what, we can stand up for each other. Then I wrote down this credo. That little girl helped the Night Runners become who they were for years. And if we are to be reborn, we cannot do it without her. Why not without her? You see, she's a tough one. Maybe too tough. I trained her, helped heal her wounds, but never healed the biggest one. Revenge. She's built a mighty thick wall around herself. Can't seem to let go of her anger. If she doesn't, it could destroy her. <laughs> I know, I know. Drunk calling the kettle black, right? I'm in no position to judge, Frank. Thanks. No one's so fucking obsessed with her kill list. She needs to throw that damn thing away. Otherwise, it'll kill her. Let's hope she's better fighting them than I am. What are Luan's demons? Almost too many to count. But Satan himself is at the top. You mean Hakon? You know him? Yeah, we've met. It all came down to the TV station mission. Hakon was against that from the start. Got Killian on his side. He said it was suicide. But I know the truth. The fucker chickened out plain and simple. Till then, he wasn't just a night runner to me. I thought he was leader material. But he didn't have our backs. Tore the creed in half before he bowed it, and with it, tore apart the night runners themselves. Fucking coward. Didn't deserve to lick Lawan's boots. <sighs> Look, I'm starting to get pissed off, and we should focus. What about Hakon killing Lucas? Hmm? That took some balls. Sure, but they weren't his balls, they were Waltz's. Hakon's just the guy's lapdog now. Sit, roll over, assassinate. That's true. Neutered dogs are even more obedient than they were before. Exactly. 
Okay, I'm on my way. Then go get him. I'll be on the radio. You remind me of Luan, before she became obsessed with that goddamn hit list of hers. I'll get ears on the renegades for you. I'll find out what Waltz is up to. I promise. Good day. Drink it back. Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. Drinking water. I've been collected in the canteen. All those in need can report the Stay tuned. Used to think there was nothing worse than the effect of today. I'm not so sure. The flash. Did you mess with it? No. Maybe it's catch you stealing, you lose a hand. Now, no order without strict law. PK, he's get the first base. Civilians don't belong in here. This is a PK outpost. Frank, that's uh, that's way up there. Yeah, GRE made them hard to reach for a reason. Keeps them away from the bad guys. But for a guy like you, Aiden, piece of cake.
Frank, I got the antenna going. Okay, let's see what these bastards are talking about. Down the north and head east. Wolf is. We need to meet him. They're moving, Aiden. 
They said they're going to meet Waltz, heading east. There's another antenna on top of a condominium at the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Peach Street, just by the entrance of the main canal. Get it working, and we can keep up with them. Got it. Frank, I activated the second antenna. The renegades were here, on the roof. Speaking of renegades, hearing more chatter. Meeting in Harrison Boulevard, all offices. Waltz will be there to give us orders. Anything new about that pilgrim? No. But he found someone who'll help him access the database. If you know something new about that fucking pilgrim, let me know. Keep looking. Frank, I need to get to where they are. You heard the maiden. Waltz is looking for you. He's got a way to access the database. <laughs> he found someone. He's too strong for you, and you'll be playing straight into his hand. If that's the only way to find out the truth, then so be it. You're stubborn, kiddo. Stubborn like Lawan. I'll be in touch. Brother? He would never return to me. Not in a million years. 
Walt was right. These fuckers were eavesdropping on us. First him, then we'll get that GRE employee from the old Philidor. And the boss will be over the moon. Where's Walt? Walt? We don't need Walt to deal with you. Oh, good old Frank. So naive. Warning people. Talking way too much. Got him! <sighs> I think so. Yeah. Walsh wasn't here. And they know we're eavesdropping on them. I know. You know? Someone tried to tip me off. But the warning came too late. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I... <clears throat> my infection just flared up. The renegades were talking about some GRE doctor from the bazaar. Walsh is looking for him too. Former GRE and old Villador? I'll look into it. Who tried to tip you off? Well... That's the strangest part. It was Hakon. He wants to meet with you. I thought he left the city. Well, he's still kicking, and he'll be waiting for you at the church on St. Paul Island. He's got the goods on Waltz. And hell, maybe he knows something about Luan, too. Why do you think he knows anything about Luan? First of all, because she was after him. But also, because it's much more complicated than that. You see, the last time she went off radar like this was when this fucker dumped her. So if she's not answering now, I'm getting really worried this is something more, and Hakon could be involved. 
But what do you mean something more? I'm afraid she's found a lead on Hakon. And she means to hunt him again. Which means she could get herself into trouble. Do you know what really made the Night Runner special, Aiden? I mean, true heroes? It wasn't the inhibitors. Not the strength or speed they granted us. For the Night Runners, it was balance that set us apart. Self-control. That's why Lawan couldn't become a Night Runner. Not because she was too young. She was the fastest, braver than a lot of my men. But she couldn't achieve balance. Um, self-control. This should be good. Don't laugh. We used inhibitors, but they didn't use us. We had a focus on mental and emotional strength, not just physical abilities. Balance. Physical strength is important, but it's what you do with it that determines what kind of human being you are. That's why Hakon's betrayal hurt us so much. I'll go meet with Hakon, Frank. You try and find out what happened to Lawan. Just remember, they're listening to you too. Will do, Aiden. Be careful. Who knows what Hakon is up to? I'm going back to the fisheye. Good luck.